in Accra, I found that motorists actually stop for pedestrians to cross. Like the first day it happened, when I was on my way to Labadi Beach, and in the taxi I boarded, I think a young boy and a girl wanted to cross the road. The taxi driver was driving, and they actually, you know, waved at him, beckoned at him to slow down, and he actually slowed down for them to cross the road before we proceeded. Like, it's so different. It doesn't happen in Lagos, in Nigeria. You have to wait. If you don't wait, when people travel to a country, they definitely have observation about the country. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. For my returning viewers, I'm an amazing subscriber. Thank you so much for always coming back. This Nigeria lady came to Ghana and shared her observation about the country Ghana. When I got here, right from the airport, it was one pleasant experience to the other until now that I'm here even speaking with you guys. So today I want to share with you guys my observations about Ghana and how much I've, you know, been impressed by Ghana so far. So obviously the first thing I noticed when I got to Ghana was the population. Coming from a country that has a very large population and sometimes seems so overwhelming and chaotic, coming to Ghana was a pleasant experience. I got here and I noticed that it's not as populated, it's not as crowded as it is, you know, in Lagos where I live, in Nigeria generally. So I was pleasantly, you know, impressed by what I saw. And moving around is so easy. You're able to get things done in real time without having to really, you know, spend much time in traffic or just the hassle of moving from one place to the other. It's so easy and quite seamless moving about. So that's one thing I observed about Ghana, the population is less and it's more easy to move about and just interact and get things done here, especially in Accra where I've been staying ever since I came to Ghana. The next thing I noticed about Ghana is um, the transportation system, the public transportation system. You know, they have these beautiful, cute, small taxis that move around, you know, they're all over the streets. It's, you know, it's easy for you to get about when you want to go anywhere. Bikes are not found on the street. I think it's illegal for bikes to move, so um, taxis are readily available. They also have the trotro, that is the buses, what um, Lagosians call downfall. So here we have the trotro, and they are, you know, flying their routes to different locations, so it's easy to also move about from one location to the other. And there's less drama with using the trotro. Like when you get in there, the, the trotros are clean, the conductors are pleasant. It's not as dramatic as it gets when you enter a public bus in Nigeria, especially in Lagos. So it's just gentle. Even when they are calling passengers on the road, it's not noisy. Just, I mean, just calm. You go in there, you sit down, clean, you pay your fare. There's nothing like, oh, you're changing, I don't get change, all those things that they keep telling you when you enter bus. So it's just so gentle and everything, guys. I, I love it. I've used the structure for like more than once and it was the same experience so I can say for sure that the trotros are less dramatic and just a pleasant clean experience driving in there. The only thing though that I observe is the you know the cost in transportation are usually you know friendly and quite reasonable but so far apart from the pricing it's impressed with you guys and the taxi drivers are friendly they are chatty as you are driving with them especially when they know that you are a, a visitor into Ghana they're so friendly, they're chatty and just want you to feel comfortable and make you feel at home. This particular one guys it just, it just intrigued me like coming from a place where um, there's so much going on in terms of traffic and movement and congestions on the road. In Accra, I found that motorists actually stop for pedestrians to cross. Like the first day it happened, when I was on my way to Labadi Beach and in the taxi I boarded, I think a young boy and a girl wanted to cross the road. The taxi driver was driving and they actually, you know, waved at him, beckoned at him to slow down and he actually slowed down for them to cross the road before we proceeded. Like, it's so different. It doesn't happen in Lagos, in Nigeria. You have to wait. If you don't wait, they'll... 
you risk your legs being broken. Just you, you not even try that. So I was so impressed, and it wasn't just that day. It happened like several times. Even for me personally, motorists have had to stop for me several times to cross. So I was like, this is impressive. I kept telling Nappy that Nappy, is this how? You know, considering your motorists are here, like they stop for you to cross before you go. And zebra crossing, you know zebra crossing, they stop for you to cross. Don't try that in Nigeria, guys. Don't try it. You're left to be chopped up by the motorists. So that's another pleasant experience I've had and you know, another pleasant observation I've made about Ghana. Your motorist thumbs up. Thank you for always stopping for pedestrians to cross before you go. Keep doing it. And then waste management in Ghana is good, guys. I like it. Like there are waste bins on the streets and Ghanaians actually use the waste bins. Like you see them dumping refuse in the waste bins. I was like, how, how did you, how did you guys get to this point? Like you guys know what I mean, Nigerians. It doesn't happen like that where I am coming from. You know how we do it, guys. You know how we do it. Even when waste bins are provided, we rarely use them, so most times we don't even find the waste bins on the street, so we just drink sachet water and drop it where we want. We drink bottled water and drop it where we want. We drink, you know, fizzy drinks and dump the bottles where we want, and... <laughs> Nigeria, don't come for me. You guys know I'm saying the truth. You know I'm saying the truth. I was so impressed, like, waste bins on the streets in strategic locations, you drink and dump your, your, your waste bottles and all that. So, and they're actually using the waste bottles. You don't see, um, you know, waste littered on the streets all over. You don't see refuse heaped all over the place. It's so clean. It's beautiful, guys. I, Ghanaians, so you know how you are in the city and you are hungry, you want to eat. Just move around. Roadside bookers actually where they're selling their food is clean you know the shops are clean the, where they're cooking is clean the place are clean everything you just feel comfortable eating even you know even though it's street food you feel comfortable eating because it's just clean impressive like you don't have any fear of okay so what i'm trying to eat i doubt how it was prepared or where they're serving it is not hygienic for not clean it's clean guys i'm impressed by your street restaurants they are clean their food is good and their service is also good so i like that about ghana this lady really observed a lot of things about Ghana. She spoke about the taxi driver. She spoke about the food in Ghana. She spoke about the transportation in Ghana. She spoke about a lot of things she observed about the country. Of course, when you come to a country, you will definitely see a lot of things that will amaze you and you'll be so surprised that this thing actually exists in a country. There is something this lady spoke about and I really love so much in Ghana. It's about the taxi driver and the trotter in Ghana. I mean the bus. In Ghana, when you are in the public car in Ghana and the car, I mean the passenger are supposed to be in theory in the seat row. Because we have the seat by row by row in Ghana in the public car. If the car is supposed to carry four people in a seat, you are not supposed to add more people in the car in Ghana. It's like it's not done. If it's supposed to carry the three passenger, it's supposed to be the three passenger. But in Nigeria, where we are coming from, if the car is supposed to carry four people, they will add more people to the seat and the seat will be so tight. You can't even complain. So sometimes like when I enter the truck car in Ghana, I ask the mate, like I have conversation with them that why do they not add more people to the seat? Even, even though the seat is not tight, why can't they add more people to the seat? When I have the conversation with the mates, I ask him, why is it not done like that? So the mate told me that, when they try that and the police able to cut you, like the money you are going to pay is more than the money you are going to work for the whole day. So you can see that in Ghana, the people are even respecting the law and obeying the law. They have never seen any mate before since I came to Ghana that have not obeyed that law. I have never come across any driver, any public car in the Ghana, like the bus, the trotter in Ghana, carry more passengers they are supposed to carry in a seat. I have never witnessed it. So I really love that about the mate driver. Are they able to obey these rules? 
don't make the people feel uncomfortable even though they are supposed to pull more people in the city they also make sure to respect the law and make the people feel comfortable in the city in ghana i am so free i'm happy to enter public car in ghana because the public car in ghana are well arranged they are not going to treat you like oh shift your body shift your body it's okay if it's for everybody is going to sit where in the car and get to their destination nobody are going to press you in the car but some country we are coming from if it's going to carry five people they're going to put six people and you'll be tightening your legs till you get to your destination i really admire that about the trotro in ghana and i also admire the way the taxi driver in ghana make sure that you are okay you get to your destination and respect the people the passenger they are carrying sometimes in ghana when i'm going somewhere i don't even know my way i will just tell the driver that please i don't know where i'm going so please be patient with me i have to call the person even though that we have a prize already before I start the journey. And along the way, the journey is taking longer than it's supposed to take. And I have to beg the driver that please give me some time so I can call the person to give us more direction or let's ask people on the way. Maybe we don't know where we are going. The driver will be so nice to make sure that you get to your destination. They will not be angry. They will not be rude to you that, oh, you are taking longer. You are wasting my time. I'm t like, they will not be so violent, like, oh, time is money, those kind of things. No, they will make sure they get to your destination. You are the person that will know that, oh, this person actually wastes a lot of time because of me. I have to just at least appreciate the person to add some money to their money. With, with your own mind, you just have to do it because you know that indeed the driver deserves more than what you are supposed to give to him so they will not be violent in the car they're not going to be like prejudiced. so i love the way the drivers really really behave to the people they are carrying they treat them nice they respect them only the problem in ghana is that when you are in ghana as in nigeria this message is from nigerians because a lot of times when i take cars and i'm talking to the drivers they will always ask me are you sure you are nigerian i say yes i'm nigerian because some of them have complained that sometimes when you order for uber ride right, and they see the nigeria son name they don't want to come they want to cancel the ride because some of the nigerians when they come into the car they begin to tell you stop here shouting on you or drive speed or make the car fast why is it traffic as if it's the cause of the traffic so some of the uber driver are not really happy there they always come to complain so this message is for my nigerians so when you get into a car please kindly respect the driver sit gently and get to your destination even though there is traffic on the way the driver is not the cause of the traffic he cannot climb other cars to get to where you want just be patient and you get to your destination you don't have to be violent you just have to be cool with the people that's it you get everything you want in ghana if you understand Ghanaians, you will never find yourself in problem I don't know when sometimes I see some Nigerians say that Ghanaians have done this to them, Ghanaians have done that to them. I used to ask them, what do you also do to the people? Because Ghanaians, the Ghanaians I know, maybe the one I'm seeing, or the one I've seen, or the people I'm seeing in Ghana, is different from the people some of the Nigerians describe. Ghanaians, oh, they don't like this. Ghanaians, Ghanaians hate Nigerians. Ghanaians do this. They treat me like this. The Uber driver is not nice to me. The Uber driver always insults Nigerians. Before a driver will insult you, then you have also do something. And you know it. So, so let's learn how to be polite with the drivers. Respect them. Forgetting that they are also deserve their respect. Even though they are going to pick you from your destination to where you are going, you have to give them a maximum respect. They are not your slave. Learn to respect people, respect everyone you come across. Respect them, regardless of who you are, no matter what you are, it's for yourself. It's not for anybody because you are not paying anybody's bill. So it's just a friendly advice to my fellow Nigerians who always feel that the Uber driver are giving a problem no it's the way you talk to them sometimes just use your calm too even though there's going to warrant you guys to have an argument there's a way you will speak to the driver there's going to be peace in the car so that is just what it is just be kind and enjoy your stay in ghana because you see ghana is a beautiful country and they have wonderful people 
in the country so please if you have not liked the video do me well by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn your notification bell so whenever i drop a new video you will be the first to be notified drop your comment below of what you think of the video share with a friend who would love to watch this video with you and i will see you in my next video bye for now and stay blessed